With Russia announcing a partial pullback of forces, could the crisis in Ukraine be over? NATO certainly doesn't think so. The alliance has accused Russia of, in fact, sending more troops to the border. This was Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg on Wednesday. They have always moved forces back and forth. Uh, so just that we see movement of forces or battle tanks doesn't uh, uh, confirm a real withdrawal. Um, uh, it has been a bit up and down, back and forth all the way. But the trend of the last uh, weeks and months has been a steady increase in the Russian uh, capabilities uh, close to Ukraine's uh, borders. Um, so uh, Russia uh, retains uh, the capability of uh, a full-fledged in invasion of uh, Ukraine. Moscow announced a partial pullback of forces from near Ukraine on Tuesday. Russia's defense ministry on Wednesday published video of military vehicles leaving the Crimean Peninsula, an area Moscow seized from Ukraine in 2014. In spite of this, a senior Western official speaking on the condition of anonymity said intelligence showed Russian military exercises would be at their most active during the remainder of February. He said there were no credible signs at this point that there would be any kind of military de-escalation. NATO is considering new steps to deter Moscow on its eastern flank in response to the Russian threat in Ukraine's north, east and south. Russia says it never planned to attack Ukraine but wants to lay down red lines to prevent its neighbour from joining NATO, which it sees as a threat to its own security. Both sides have said they remain open to diplomacy.